Welcome to floor four. Get out. With the weird giant pizza robot in the background. You know, as you do. Alright, secrets. We're at... Should be a multiple of three. For you, for you. Is a multiple of three, so we're on track. Alright, now this world only has three levels. And the first one is this away. This might get complicated, because I've never been able to get do this level. This level's escape section is rough. Welcome to Pizza Scare. So, like, we may need to, like, strategically do all the secrets after getting all the treasure, because I've... I don't actually know if you need to kill those ghosts for combo. So this ghost, this stage's gimmick is you got a ghost following you, and he's gonna mess with you. But also, he's very necessary to complete the level. I deserve that one. <laughs> He'll do things like possess that outlet and get stuck in a television. And make sure that make me not look at the uh Oh is that why this this floor is horror themed? I was wondering about that. Cause yeah, this floor is like That would explain the the war thing. Uh, these bats, by the way, are like the tomato guys. They oh god damn it! The ghosts are invincible unless you have the the unless you're blessed by the pizza man. Yeah, this guy. Um, but yeah, this this bat will be necessary later. I, I love that, like, you don't lose score for hecking up in such a way that you run off of, uh, when you run off a cliff. Because, like, your punishment is time, obviously. These wizard enemies are, like, my, by far my least favorite enemy in the game. They were in the, the forest as well, I think. They're, like, so annoying. I completely screwed the pooch on that one. <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Pete, Mr. Ghostman is stuck in the TV and we gotta free him. You're stuck with me. Allergies, why? Is there something over there? I am a little bit concerned we haven't found- Oh, right, this is part of the escape. Oh, yeah! Wait, we may end up... Look, I don't remember where the first secret is. We may end up having to come back to the secrets anyway. Fine by me, honestly. Oh, God. Stupid pizza wizards. <laughs> so, yeah, I know about this secret. But part of me wants to say this is the second secret? Well, then again, there is a door there, so maybe not. I remember the pattern. I remember the line of this level. Promise. <laughs> you run too fast, you will go fast. Okay, 
Okay, so this this stage's gimmick is you don't always want to be hit by the, the ball man. Except for now. You do want to hit him by it now. And doing this quickly will be key for P ranking, I think. Because if you're not quick enough, you won't get your combo. Also, if you get hit by the electricity, you definitely won't get your combo. Binary. Thankfully, they still get scared by you moving fast, but... They are invincible. Second secret, please be in this room. Oh my god, I know where the- f Okay, we missed the first secret, I know where it is. That's fine, that means I don't need to worry about it. Uh, during the escape section. So I'm okay with that, honestly. focus on other important things, because we're not S-ranking level yet, so we don't need to do everything perfectly. So, uh, we have a problem, and that's that Mr. Ghostman's gonna get in the way of us breaking John the Pillar. I mean, if you were a ghost? I mean, if I was invulnerable, I think I'd... I wouldn't be that scared of it, right? I did not bounce on the rat. Goodbye, stupid rat. Gotta get him stuck at the TV. Uh, but obviously, if, I don't know if you noticed, but we're gonna need him back, so... This escape section is cool. I mean, they're all cool. Like, I love the entire escape section gimmick of recontextualizing previous sections of level. Uh, but with new layouts. Like, it's so cool. This is such a good gimmick, and I don't understand why Wario more games didn't, like, take after this Wario Land 4 formula. We have Ghost. Also, uh, he's a mouse now for some reason. <laughs> I don't know when Gustav became mouse, but he sure is. Nope. Everyone finds the fork knives annoying. I don't like the knife ghosts. I think I think I find them more annoying, honestly. This might be the time that you want to get that secret, actually, during this escape section, for, like, score purposes, because that'll let you keep your combo going. Like, that's what I love about this game in particular, with, like, speedrunning it, is that it's not just about... It's not just about doing things quickly, there's, like, an order to it. What am I doing? I don't need the combo. <laughs> We got all the toppings. So it's kind of hard not to in this level. Okay, so. We are looking for Jer uh, Jerome in this part of the level. I think. I want to say right below here? Yeah, right here. And then. Uh, this is where the last secret is, but I don't need to get that yet. Because I just remembered that I am missing a thing. So yeah, if you want to get the treasure... Um... You gotta do this. But, good. Chicken wing! Yeah. But it's, like, it's like the best, most memorable quote from the Bop It. Do it again, but better. Oh wait, there's another secret there. Yeah, okay, this level has two escape secrets. 
which means we could have gotten all the secrets actually and i was just confused about which secret was which i think i was thinking of the next level I have to say, of this floor, which this floor might be my favorite floor, but this is definitely not my favorite level of this floor. I think its gimmick is just kind of annoying. Like, not, not the ghost, the other gimmick. The, the, like, the ghost enemies gimmick is not very fun, in my opinion. Cross. I wish I was good at Pacross. Pacross sounds was like very fun. All right, speed run level. Let's go. Very good speed run. Good technique. Excellent technique. Very good, Binary. Best Pizza Tower speed runner ever. Yeah, I was thinking that there's another level that has a similar upward section where, um, in the upward section of the secret is, and I was confusing it with that. Perhaps this is, like, the one level that has the, uh, the escape section be where two of the secrets are. Wall crime. So is there like lore about the pizza tower that I don't know about? Definitely want to get this during the escape, I think. mind I want I want to know the pizza tower lore like I know that Pino is going into the tower to like save his pizzeria because pizza face is kind of a jerk <laughs> oh good that's that explains why I don't know about it because I'm bad at I'm I'm better at deduction than induction like the line for that section of the level. So 
as always with games about go fast. You gotta, you gotta take the right lines. Oh god, I didn't kill the f No! Well, that would have certainly made my life easier in that section if I had done the previous section properly. Knife. Knife goes. <laughs> Might as well try to get Drome. Hey, buddy. Thank you. that running on those ramps like careens you off the cliff always screws me up. We might be a, a little bit of trouble, but it's it's fine. <laughs> Stupid ramp is such a bad, badly placed ramp. Shit. Fuck. You gotta go up here. Start that over, please. It's the first time I have ever gotten everything in the level. I feel good about that. Alright. That is level one of this world. Now for... Oh yeah, this this detail's cool. You look at these two, they look like this. You look away from them, they look scared out of their mind. It's so good. It's such a good touch. I didn't even notice this in my playthrough. I noticed this in a watching somebody else. Happy birthday! Welcome to the pizza shop. Where nothing will go wrong. Yeah, I was always this dark in the top room. Time for everyone's favorite happy-go-lucky. Don't make a sound. Uh, so this level's main gimmick is cheese, uh, which prevents you from jumping. Definitely cheese, nothing else. And there's also these serious security guards, but I'm sure that won't be a problem as for lap two is. But like, look, it's perfectly fine if you get caught. See, look, fine, nothing wrong. No, <laughs> this level is absolutely nothing wrong. It just plays an alarm and then it's fine. You know, this pizza with, like, weird skeletal limbs is also definitely fine. Ooh, 
look, alarm equals, uh, alarm equals open from Granny. Thank you, Granny. If you don't mind me, I'm just gonna walk all the way over here for no particular reason. <laughs> as much as I would have loved to, like, roleplay getting scared the shit out of by this thing, uh, you need to do that in order to get the secret. Uh, but don't worry, there's plenty of time for me to be scared the shit out of this thing, because... <laughs> God damn it, you know! They jump scare you and they stuff you in an animatronic suit. God damn it, it's... Pino! <laughs> yeah, you lose a lot of points in this. My first run through of this level was just a B rank. Because I lost so much score. Anyway, now... Oh god, gotta run! <laughs> Not a good time to read chat! <laughs> You can actually see where they spawn, so this is where this enemy spawns. Uh, and they break through that stuff. Yeah, the cheese preventing you from jumping does get a little bit annoying in certain sections of this level. Uh, oh God, that, I was gonna, I was gonna point this unnerving thing over here, and then the game was just like, oh, uh, they noticed you. I like how the off-screen indicator of the animatronic has two eyes. I need to, I'll, I'll have to remember to pay attention to that next time I get caught. Detailed. I <laughs> I just regularly don't look up there, so I didn't even notice. I mean, I think that the point is that it's supposed to be scary. You know, obviously it's it's a it's a play on like indie horror games, like uh, oh god. Five Nights at Freddy's. God. Cheese man! Okay, so this section is difficult. Nope. So you have to time this just right. So that you make it over here. Mascot horror, basically, yeah. We haven't seen Cheese Man, but here he is. There's two others. Yeah, uh, so if you trigger that alarm and then try to go down here, he will always wake up before you're allowed to anyway. We actually are forced to trigger this alarm. And, uh, this is where the door is, but there's no time for that. Now there's time for that. This is where the door is, but, as you may notice, we can't break these blocks. These were in this tutorial, but there needed to be a, t a second the member of the horror crew. So, 
So, I believe this balloon here is our next, uh, our next horror friend. Oh, is it a puppet? I always thought it was a balloon. Because of how he moves. Oh, yeah, there's also a... This level's honestly not too bad to secret hunt, from what I remember. Because, like, the last two secrets are really obvious. And even that first secret is, like, pretty obvious. It's just, like, hard to figure out how to get to it. Because I always assumed... Yeah, not scary at all. I don't... Oh, I see him now. Yeah, uh... <laughs> don't worry about it. That's fine. Definitely not tailor-made to make you uncomfortable. Goodbye, Mushroom Alarm. Well, uh, we're about to trigger the alarm, so let's get going. And this guy... Flies after you like that! Oh my god! <laughs> Which is why he's probably the scariest of the guys. Oh, don't worry, that's coming. Well, uh, since I hecked that up, let's get the secret. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Oh god, this, this room's a little bit more precise than I remember it being- Or, I mean, I remember it being precise, I just didn't remember the layout of the room. Oh, the indicator, not like the TV screen. Yeah, the indicator of them being eyes is like purposely freaky. Okay, this is our introduction to our th our fourth friend. The Wiener Butcher. I don't know why I did a ground pound there. My favorite mascot, the Wiener with with a butcher's knife. This is probably the least intimidating of, of them all, just because of, like, how little you see it, and, like, most of the time that you use it, you use it to, like, get past obstacles. Come with a knife, yeah. Uh, speaking of that section where you get chased of all of them... Uh, here you go. I think the only one that's dangerous in this room is the cheese and maybe the balloon. Oh god, wait. I need you. Jerome! Uh, anyway, here's the gun. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna want to be careful during this section. I actually cannot remember where the last secret is. Oh, no, wait. We already did the last secret. <laughs> yeah, they're uh, not threatening anymore because now we have gun. I 
fact, uh, one of the enemies can do that taunt thing where they can't, they, they steal gun access. This level, I feel like, is another level where if you get good at it, you won't have much of a problem. Getting a high score. That's power from the game of shotgun. It's pretty good. It's only featured in, like, two levels, though. Three? Three? Three levels. Also, oh, wait. Oops. I also like that in the, uh, the level, the mascot level, Gustav is on puppet strings. Yes, they can still get you, <laughs> if you're not careful. What a perfectly ordinary mascot level. Yes, I mean, you do have gun. Which is always helpful. <laughs> 